Hey, this is Jared with episode 3 of the Youth Factor TV of YouthFactor.us and today we're talking about Snapchat. Okay, so first off you're probably asking yourself, why would I be on Snapchat as a youth pastor? Well, I'm glad you asked my friend. Let's go through a few stats. As of December 2015, 36% of Americans 18 through 29 have a Snapchat account. It's the fastest growing social network for millennials. As of May 2015, 400 million snaps are sent today. If you're still not convinced Snapchat is an important player in the social networking area, the White House recently joined. But isn't Snapchat a teen sexting app? No. I, I mean, yes, but, but no, not really. I mean, here's the thing, it did get a bad rap for that in the beginning because of teens were using that a lot because they felt like the whole fact that the, the snaps disappeared if you saw made it safe. But they quickly learned that's not really the point. And just like any other media, medium, whether it be text messaging, email, Facebook, whatever, some people are stupid and do stupid things with it. But that doesn't mean smart people like you can't do smart things with it. Okay, at the end of the day, that really, that question of Snapchat as being an evil, bad sexting app is missing the entire point of the app altogether, which is your students are there and you need to be there as well. Okay, look, you will be there sooner or later. So would you rather it be now when your students are there and paying attention or later when they're leaving to the next hot thing because grandma's found it and she won't stop sending personal I love you messages to her public story. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video with three tips on how to get your students to add you on Snapchat. Number one, ask them. Number two, incorporate it into your services. I've actually started doing uh, Snapchat games to where I have them all add me, so we're all cool and copacetic, and throughout the week I will send whether messages or to my story, clues or hints or tasks or whatever it is, and depending on their progress and how they do throughout the week, then that next week, we meet on Wednesdays, there are prizes awarded to winners and runner-ups. And number three, don't be annoying or weird or old. Don't harass them on Snapchat. Use Snapchat like it is. It's, out of all the social networks, it simulates real natural conversation more than any other one. I mean, look at it. When you have a conversation with your student that doesn't hang around forever for everyone to come back and see and for like your life book to come back and go, hey, hey, by the way, this is what you said and you tagged that student three years ago. Hey, look, look, look at it. No, it disappears. It's like a real conversation. You talk to a student and it lives in their memory and there's no physical record of it. It's more normal. So don't get weird about it. Just use it as if you were texting them or talking to them in person. All right, that's all I have for this episode, but I have several blogs either out or coming out as, as you're watching this. So check the notes, the show notes for links to those. And I've got stuff all the way from like how to, like, this is what these buttons do, to, like, Snapchat hacks, here's ideas. And I've got just some overall strategy, like, hey, here's a cool way to become legend on Snapchat. All right, that's it. Again, this is Jared from YouthFactor.us, episode three of Youth Factor TV. Please, 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 if you haven't already, subscribe up. I got lots more episodes coming out, you know, one, two, maybe three of these things a week. And knowing that you're subscribing and you're commenting down at the bottom is what keeps me going because I know you're paying attention. Um, and ask your questions because I would love to answer questions other than just always thinking about topics of my own, what I care about. I want to talk about and answer what you guys care about and want to be talked about. You get the point. Subscribe up. Leave comments. Have a wonderful day.